discuss most of the issues affecting women and how to overcome it. In case you're joining the program for the first time, this is an outstanding women program and I welcome you again. My name is Ayita Yokofuwo Rola and I'm your host on the program this afternoon. And um, today we'll be discussing tips on becoming successful as an entrepreneur. And if you're an entrepreneur, we're going to be giving you a little bit tips on what you can do to become successful in your field of career. And before we go on, always remember that self-belief means firm confidence and trust in your own strength, skills, capabilities, thought, emotions, and knowledge and confidence that you can do and achieve whatever you're dreaming about. So don't you ever forget that. Always believe in yourself first before you venture into anything that you want to do. So with me, I have a guest in the studio with me this afternoon, and she is uh, Sheyi Fumi Fadeyi. Is she's an industrial entrepreneur and public relations professional. She is the founder and creative director of Zakon Initiatives, an event company with the undeniable touch of excellence. I welcome you on the program this afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome. It's nice to be here. I'm so glad you could make it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for coming. You're so before welcome. we go on, uh, I would like to start uh, my question from here that it, what you're doing presently is it what you've always wanted? Mm -hmm. And okay. the second question, because it's actually in two in one, I read in your profile that you studied mass communication. And the profile that you sent again, you're okay. fully into event planner. Yes. So how did you, what changes okay. between those period? Okay. All right. So um, when I started out, I wanted to be on hair. When I was a little child, okay. I'll stand in front of the mirror and I'll be reading the newspaper. My mm -hmm. name is Shay Fumi Falade and I am your reporter for today. And of course, it was just um, dreams okay. and all of that. But by the time I grew older, I wanted to work in the telecoms industry. Wow. I wanted to be the person to help you solve your problem. I wanted to be the face that you see or the voice you hear mm -hmm. and you know and just help you out basically okay. so i studied mass communication okay and of course you know there's that part where you're on air but i didn't choose that part mm -hmm. i majored in public relations okay. you know so at least i'm still right there helping people mm -hmm. by the time i graduated i went to serve i served with nta nugu and i was on air okay. it was a beautiful time i enjoyed mm -hmm. myself mm -hmm. and you know before i came back home my dad, my mom, everybody was already, ah, she's going to be in this station. She's going to, I'm like, oh, sorry, I'm not <laughs> going to do all of that. And then I got a job in Lagos okay. just after I finished. It was a public relations firm. Mm -hmm. I studied PR in school. So um, it was what I was doing all the while. Okay. And then I had to come back to Ibado from Lagos at some okay. point. One or two things happened. Okay. And so I got back to Ibado and I was working with the HR firm. Mm -hmm. for like two days in three days in five days three days in five days and my mom was like you have some free time on your hands mm -hmm. do something mm -hmm. with it while I was in school mm -hmm. in fellowship I always got called to do one or two things mm -hmm. help people to you know fix things and get things done and so um, along the line people will call me ah Shay for me do you know someone that can bake a cake for you mm -hmm. and I'll be like oh yes I know someone that can. I know several people. Can you help us with drinks? Uh uh, small thing. I'll and I found out that I liked to always refer people, always help people get their things done. Okay. When I'm seated in the crowd and you're having an event and something is going wrong, I'm like, ah, they you should have they should fixed. have, you know, you, mm -hmm. they should have. And so by the time I was out of school, I knew I was going to go into business. Okay. into planning okay. i got my business name zekwan initiatives while i was in school wow. you know I, I didn't know what exactly was i was going to do but i knew that i was going to be in business and you know event planning was you know so my mom said oh go ahead she paid for my classes for decor wow. you know and i was like mommy she said you're very creative so go mm -hmm. ahead and do it i did it and then the opportunity came to train for event planning my mentor in the industry and you know Funke Bokno was one of the speakers. I did everything I could to be in that class. Okay. And that was how I started my journey. Yes. You know, I worked with um, Kakanfo as their event center 
you know, manager. But it wasn't just it for me. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do so much more. Mm -hmm. So that's how I started my own business about 11 years ago, thereabout. Wow. And, you know, we're still standing today wow. and, you know, hoping to do much more. That's wonderful. Thank what actually you. happened to the dream of becoming a <laughs> communicator? Um, you know, so I think that um, as you grow older, mm -hmm. you just begin to see things in a different perspective. Exactly. That dream, um, if you call me today to present, I'm sure that I would be able to mm -hmm. because, you know, it's always something I wanted Indeed. to do. Mm -hmm. But it's not what I want to do at the moment, mm -hmm. you know. So um, I just decided I would rather do this and do well in it. You know, and be happy because there's a difference between doing what you like okay. and what you love. Mm -hmm. I can like to be on hair. I can like to, you know, be something else. But I Put love events. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm in the field. Wow. Wow, that's wonderful. You can hear that she mm -hmm. loves events. Right from her childhood, she wished to be a mass mm -hmm. communicator. Mm -hmm. And as she grows, she developed herself. She found out that she can actually be an event planner. And here she is. Yeah. She's doing well and happy. And that's the most important thing when you're choosing a particular career or mm -hmm. a business for yourself. Make sure yeah. that thing that you're doing is making you happy Absolutely. and you're doing well in it. Absolutely. So another thing that I have for you, I read in your profile that you did a nine to five job. Yeah. So along the line, when you were about switching from your job to becoming independent on your own, was there any fear that has been triggered okay. in you that what if, what if, what if, and mm. how were you able to cope with it? Okay, so um, I didn't as much as have fears, okay. honestly, because I think my mind was just made up at that point and I knew this is what I want to do. Okay. So I didn't have so many fears. But sometimes you have fears. I'm starting out. It's a new terrain. Mm -hmm. How do I get, you know, accepted into the community? Of, you, you know, already receiving you some salary, income. you know. <laughs> you know starting up on your own and with, I, I must you tell know. you that by the time I started out, it wasn't like I was getting jobs immediately. Mm. I didn't start out that way. Okay. The first few years, my husband and I, and I always joke about the fact that when you started, it wasn't always like this. Mm. The days of little beginnings of and the course. days of, you know, determining in your heart that this is what I want to do. Mm. If you have decided that you want to do it, mm. believe in yourself that you can. Mm. It won't always be so beautiful, so rosy. Mm -hmm. But then when you keep at it, when you decide this is what I want to do and you're consistent mm. and you're putting it, putting in all the effort, mm -hmm. it will pay off eventually. Mm -hmm. Those fears might come, but tell yourself I am more than a conqueror, mm -hmm. you know. I'm a believer. I believe in, you know, the almighty God. I'm a Christian, mm -hmm. you know. And so I confess and I see my confessions coming to pass. Mm -hmm. I tell myself I can. I am a believer. I am strong. I, you know, and I we keep telling myself, reaffirming myself to mm -hmm. myself that I can do it. And eventually you find out that you cross the hurdles. Mm -hmm. You know, the hurdles are there. Let's of not course, lie. The course. hurdles are there. But over time you you surpass all of those hurdles you okay. move ahead of them okay okay well thank you so much for that You're advice welcome. and um another thing is um in your experience of being um an event planner and also working as a nine-to-five job have you in any way experienced uh gender inequality and which it has affected you getting a certain job or getting a certain thing done in a way mm. Okay, um, I, I wouldn't say so. Okay. I wouldn't say that I have experienced gender inequality. But you know that there are some times when people just prefer this gender for and this role. Other. But then I, I don't come as soft. I don't come as gentle. <laughs> I am, you know, mm -hmm. I, I, I know I can do it. Okay. I can do it. And so when you see me and you see the way I go about things, mm -hmm. you don't even think that, oh, I wish it were a guy or a man in this position. Mm -hmm. You want me to get it done because you know that she has the ability it. to mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's true. Okay. Um, I want to ask, oh, do you have um, some tips that you can share with other women out there on becoming a successful entrepreneur in their path, in whatever path they've chosen. Okay. And some of the tips that has helped you as you're starting up up to this moment. Okay. Um, I'll say that the first thing is 
know what you want to do. You. Don't be tossed around here, there. I want to do this today, tomorrow. It's not thriving. You're moving on to the next thing. And you're like, oh, the, this didn't succeed. I'm moving on to. Mm. Know mm. what you want to do. And believe in yourself that you can achieve it. Because once you know, once there's a knowing, mm -hmm. you know, oh, I have to ac accept that I want to do this. I accept it. And then I start to work towards Too achieving much. success. Mm. Do you go for trainings if you decide, oh, I want to start soap making? Okay. You don't just sit in your house and mix the chemicals together. Mm -hmm. Go and get, get trained results. for it. Mm -hmm. You know, and like I said, I started out with a training. Even though I had started to do some bit of business by the side. But when the opportunity for training came, I went ahead for it. Mm. And I can tell you that for every year, I have a budget for training. I don't stop learning. So get trained for it mm. so that you're starting on a very good foundation. Mm. Mm. If you don't know it, then there's a likely possibility that you won't thrive at it. So get trained and then have support. Mm. Have a mentor. Mm. Have someone that you look up to, someone that you can call intermittently, mm. someone that you can tell your worries to, someone that you can share your worries with, your ideas. Oh, I have this idea. Definitely not someone that will steal your idea. Mm -hmm. But someone that would advise you, hold your hands on the journey, and you know, to as you're better. going, you know, you're getting better. Mm. I have mentors, I have people that I look up to, I have coaches in the industry. Okay. And I want to tell you that it's been an amazing journey with people holding your hands. Wow. You know, join a community. Mm. Don't say, oh, you know, even to the laymen, fashion designers, they have associations. Course. And so they work together. As event planners, we have associations. Mm -hmm. We have groups that people can join. So join support groups. Mm -hmm. And I'll also say that carve a niche for yourself. So don't be the person... Um, I don't want to mention all the things that we do. <laughs> but don't be the person that does everything and is not successful yourself. at one thing. Wow. You can do so many things. I do a lot of things. Jack of all trades. You know, I, I, I make bids. My beats have gotten to U.S., gotten to U.K. I haven't been there. Mm. I'll be there very soon. But I have done these things and people have taken them out mm. because I know how to do it. Mm. But that's not at the fore of what I do. I'm a planner, mm. first mm. of mm. all. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. That's what I love to do. So when you're looking for a planner, you will see me. And you know, oh, she is a planner. Mm. So assuming that I, I make soap, I sell bread... I sell palm oil. Mm -hmm. I do all of those things. Be known for what you do, of course. Exactly. So making bids is also in the industry that I am. Mm -hmm. it's you know, there's an association. There's a sync between all of those things that mm -hmm. I do. So be that person that, you know, has a niche. This is what I want to do mm -hmm. and focus on doing it. Mm -hmm. Once you start out your business, you can't do everything by yourself. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we start out with a one-man business. Oh, I did. And then I got one staff that would always be there. And, you know, and then we began to grow and grow. And, you know, the way it is, you need to have a structure exactly. in your business. Mm. Don't just operate business and money for business. You're spending on yourself. Exactly. There are times when you have to take a loan from your business. Mm. But then let there be a clear cut, you know, difference. This is money for business and this, this is my is income. Personal. So pay yourself when you work. Mm. And also learn the saving culture. Mm. Because for a lot of women, we find out that some women are not even doing anything. So when you start to do something, believe in yourself that you can achieve so much. Mm. And then start saving. Like, this is what I'm going to keep for myself. Take time out. Treat yourself to something good. Mm. And ensure that your business is growing. And like I said, there's no stop to learning I have younger people that I ask questions from. Mm -hmm. I have younger people that, oh, I don't know this. Can you, I can mention their names. I am not one that has um, shoulder pads. Uh, they don't help. You're feeling too big. You to know, too big to know. <laughs> there are people in the industry that are thriving. They're younger than I am. Mm -hmm. So if I need help, I'm asking, oh, how did you go about this? Can you help me so that when I need to use that as well, to I've asked easier. somebody, mm -hmm. I can do it and, you know, and do it so much better. I love those tips and I Thank hope you. you you viewers at home you find these tips very useful, very, very useful. But before before they get to the stage of having a structure, 
pain themselves how can they actually do it in order to get to that stage you know starting up sometimes can be challenging in okay. business okay like i said i have been in business for 11 years mm -hmm. it's not a small number of years mm -hmm. a lot of times we're not consistent mm -hmm. a lot of times we're not dedicated to what we want to do but if you realize that this is what I want to do, stay at it. Mm. Your breakthrough is going to come. Mm. And sometimes you are looking at someone else and saying, oh, this person yourself. is achieving this. I also oh, want to. Here. You don't know the efforts that person has put into it. Exactly. Sometimes some people have family money mm -hmm. that they put into Inheritance. their business. <laughs> do you understand? So don't judge other people's business with your business. You are that person that is standing on their own. You can ask for help. But keep at what you're doing. Ensure that you're steady putting in the effort. Mm -hmm. Be hard working. Don't be that lazy person. They're calling you for work and you're at one OMB. <laughs> you're having <laughs> fun every flexing. weekend. You want to party. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying don't party because there's a place to also relax and have fun and enjoy yourself. Exactly. But make sure that you have put in the hard work. Ensure that you have asked those that are ahead of you mm -hmm. how they succeeded. The I've had to it. ask people how they did it mm. you know sometimes these people are busy as well and some of them don't even respond exactly don't get discouraged keep doing what you're doing and like i said have a network of people that do what you do that you rub minds together mm. Mm. people that you can connect with mm. so i have colleagues in the industry we like we do trainings so there was a time they called a couple of us together and we learned something new i tell you the next time i was going to go to work it was my output was different. It was mm. more beautiful. Yeah, more refreshed. Do you get more refreshed? So don't just stare there. Ask for help. People that know what you're doing. So um, you want to start a business. Have you done a survey? Mm. Mm. Have you, you want to sell Iru? Have you asked yourself what kind of Iru do people like? Mm. How mm. do I process I the Iru? It. How do I market it to people? How do I package? Like you rightly said, who is my target audience? Mm. Am I packaging and um, selling into leaves like the women in Bodija? Mm -hmm. Or am I branding in a beautiful clear plastic with my label on it, my phone number on it? Mm -hmm. Am I selling to? Who am I selling to? And a lot of times we have our phones. Mm. People just go on social media and see what's happening there. Excuse me. How are you pushing yourself, pushing your brand on social media mm. i am trying to help myself so much more mm. so that my whatsapp my instagram you keep seeing me i need a baker i have i can give you 10 bakers here now mm. right mm. now mm. but when i constantly see someone i am able to oh she did something so beautiful last week i give mm. her a call mm. and i tell mm. her oh i need this size of cake can you help me you know so be in the faces of people mm -hmm. help yourself to grow don't be quiet about what you do as well exactly. so i am a planner i meet you and i let you know what i am doing mm -hmm. so if you have an event you're thinking oh i met someone last week who and she said she's a planner we have an event or oh, my cousin has an event i can call her do you understand so keep, keep at it mm -hmm. Thank you so very much. You're I welcome. love all those ones. And I hope Thank people you. at home too will pick up from that as mm. well. Please, if you have a question or any contribution that you want to make to this program, please dial the number on your screen and put your call through. I will be hearing you live and direct. I want to ask, like, on this journey of your entrepreneurial and stroke work, have you had a way where you, you had a standstill? and you were you wanted to quit or you are experiencing a regret mm. of a such in okay. any situation and how did you come back and get yourself out of that okay i think in the early years i told myself i was going to uh, um start um, looking for government work <laughs> to support what i was doing you know the way it is that i don't have all the income and i'm like i need to support my business okay. it wasn't to quit it okay. was to support my business because I do deco as well. And deco needs a lot of props. You have to keep exactly. buying things. You have to keep buying things. So I thought, oh, if I was working somewhere else, mm. I'll be able to. But on the long run, I knew it wasn't going to work. I had to face my business squarely, squarely. you know. So mm. um, 
I, I didn't at any point, I, I don't ever regret going into this line of business. Sorry, let me pick this call. Okay. Hello? Hello, good afternoon. Okay, we missed that. Okay. okay. Good. All right. So um, I, I don't regret going into my line of business okay. because on the long run, it pays off mm. when you're consistently doing what you're doing and improving and learning mm. new ways to do it. Mm. You will definitely become the be better for yourself. Wow. Wow. So consistency in hard your work. journey, hard yes. work, hard all work. of those ones, having a strategy yes. in which you want to put your business or career through. Learn and unlearn, and learn because as Africans, yourself. we always think this is the way it should be done. But there are a thousand and one thousand other ways to ways, make it work. Of course. So and if I you go on this journey, that is killing most women in our country. Mm, they want to follow a particular pattern yeah. that someone had followed. Mm. They don't want to think outside the box. You, you should. You should think thing. of, sit back and think. Mm -hmm. A lot of times when I'm alone and I want to think, I have ideas pop up. Mm -hmm. not the way somebody else has done it oh that person can just you know try to help you but decide by yourself i need to sit and listen to myself how do i want to get it done mm -hmm. how can i and you'll find out that the ideas come and when you make use of the ideas you find out that you're going in leaps and bounds although the fears might want to pop in that what Absolutely. if i give out these ideas and it mm -hmm. doesn't work and out. somebody yes and or somebody what? else i tell somebody about it mm -hmm. and somebody else you know uses Use that same for. idea and <laughs> Those fears are there, mm. but you need to tell yourself you can achieve it. Because if you say there are fears, then you sit in your corner, in your comfort zone, and then not go out there. But everybody needs to leave their comfort zone at one point or the other yeah. and strike the iron while it's hot. Exactly, exactly. Thank you very much. You're then welcome. Then another thing is, um, what do you have to say to a woman out there that has this mentality of try and error in business? Let me try this. Let me hmm. see how it works. If it doesn't work, I'll move, I'll move to on the to next something one. else. If it doesn't, I'll move on. What do you okay. have to um, to? Like I said earlier, consistency. Mm -hmm. You can't start a business and it's just like saying you want to plant a seed. You want to plant an orange tree. The tree will not start to bear fruits until years after. Mm. So the first year is that year of nurturing your business. Second year, you're nurturing, you're seeing the leaves, they're sprouting. You know, you're happy, the green leaves. You're happy and it's growing. That's the joy. Just like a baby doesn't start to walk in a day. Mm -hmm. A baby, you have to first let the baby learn to sit first. Baby steps. And crawls mm. and then stands and then starts to run. And then eventually we can all fly. Mm -hmm. So there's the process. Don't jump processes. Don't say, oh, I want to fly all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. You know, like the way we say it. <laughs> I want to blow. I want to blow. <laughs> you know, you can't blow all of a sudden, no, honestly. You're in the process of trying to there's a process. There's a, there's a there's line a of falling as honestly, well. Honestly, honestly. You fall, you fall, you fall forward mm -hmm. and you stand up again and you try it again. Now you have knowledge that this is why I failed. And so I won't do the same thing I did when I failed. Mm -hmm. I will do it a different way. Mm -hmm. So don't try a business today and say, let me see if it works. Mm. let me see and then in three months it doesn't work you're like i'm tired you move mm. on to something else there are some women that their husbands are supporting their husbands mm -hmm. have funds mm -hmm. and you know so they collect like 1.5 today mm -hmm. in the next six months there's nothing to show for it mm -hmm. and they are back to ask ah, i have another business to do you will tire that man out mm -hmm. you will wear him out and mm -hmm. eventually it will just look like he's not doing anything exactly but he has so if you have a supportive man or a supportive family do all that you can to help them to see that you're putting Results. your best into the mm. business. Mm. You know, so don't go from one business today to another tomorrow to another one next tomorrow. Be there. Mm. Mm. Watch it grow. Not try it grow. Consistency. And put in the hard work. Like you don't plant and not water. Water it. If it needs air, plant it where there's air. You know? Don't mm. go and hide your talents or your gifts somewhere <laughs> and think somebody will see you where you're hidden. No. Mm. Be vocal about what you do. If you can paint or draw, ah, please, by all means, start please it do. in the room, mm. in your living room. Start to do something. Mm. Mm. And, you know, what you do consistently, you get better at it. Exactly. You know, so I was not this good years ago when I started. Mm -hmm. I had fears when I started of, ah, if I don't deliver very well, what will happen? Mm. You know, 
But now I can stand confidently anywhere, anytime because I know my onions. Mm. I have stood the test of time in the business that exactly. I am doing. And you know, so when you see me talking confidently, <laughs> I didn't start talking like this. So, <laughs> you know, there were days when you're like, ah, how would I go about mm -hmm. it? How would I? And then you gain more knowledge. You're asking how to do things and then you know how to do it eventually. Exactly. Thank you for that. You're I mean, welcome. But there's this challenge that women face um, about discovery. You know, some discover themselves early enough before okay. going into marriage. Okay. And some didn't mm. until they enter into, into marriage. marriage. So there's this um, challenge or struggle of trying to balance all mm. with okay. their career. What do you have to say to them? Okay. So for those that start out early, I applaud them and I'm always happy for them because mm. once you start out early, it gives you like so many years ahead. And so when that man comes, the man knows what you're doing already. Exactly. You can't be successful and your man will tell you, you have to leave that business if you mm -hmm. want to marry me. If that man is telling you that he's not the man for you, mm -hmm. your, your spouse should support your thriving business. Exactly. I didn't start business until I got married. Mm. I have a very supportive spouse. Mm. I'm mm. thankful for him every day. Mm. And so he supported me all the way. Mm. If you're a late starter, mm. please go ahead and start. Mm -hmm. There's no right time to start in business. Exactly. There's no right time. So for those that started before they got married, very beautiful. Mm. For those that started after they got married, equally beautiful. For those that are going to start after they have given birth to, to all kids. of their children mm -hmm. or those that are starting while they are giving birth, mm. it's the same thing. Make sure that you're starting and doing it right. Mm. Mm. That's what matters. So it's not about when you start. Mm. We see people go to school at the age of 50. Exactly. They're going to graduate. They're mm -hmm. going to have the certificate. Definitely. If they want to work, they will work with it. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So there's no right time to start. But please start the most important yes. thing Please is to start. start don't just Absolutely. look at it in the face just yes. start. start okay i love that i love that it doesn't matter which age it doesn't matter Absolutely. which circumstance just Absolutely. make sure you step out you there start. and you start something yeah. very nice and another thing is in your journey of an entrepreneur have you ever had a, a time whereby you sacrifice something did he pay out or did you regret even sacrificing such a thing? Hmm. Okay. So, um, I'm not sure that I will be able to answer that question accurately, Okay. but there has to be a balance in everything that you do. Mm -hmm. So, um, create the balance, family life, work life, create a balance mm -hmm. so that your family is not suffering because you're at work. Mm -hmm. Your children don't know you because you have to go to work. Um, recently, I was discussing with my husband and I said, when I was growing up, I said, oh, banking. I'm not going to be a banker because those guys always work from morning till night and <laughs> <laughs> they're always at work. I want to be there for my family. There are days when I am at work till past midnight. You can imagine. <laughs> Good for me, right? <laughs> and you know, so honestly, you just have to create the balance. Mm -hmm. You have to be there. So like yesterday I was out, I came back in the evening, I was in my room and I called my children over. Oh yeah, we read some scriptures about the birth of Jesus, it's Christmas, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and everybody pick your Bible. They read two verses each, I read two verses, it was fun. Mm. And then we went online and we looked for carols and we sang. Mm. And it was, it was so beautiful. Mm -hmm. I might not have had time in the morning because mm. I was out. But when I came back, I ensured that I created time. time. Mm. Mm. Um, some weekends, I'm not at home, at home mm. because I'm at work. The weekends I am at home, I ensure that I give them my full attention. Anytime I am at home, mm. I have their time. I don't push them away. There are some times when I lock myself inside and I'm like, guys, please, I need time to myself. But be there for your children. Be there for your family. Exactly. such that and then some people say oh my family and then work suffers create a balance such that everybody has a bit of your time create time for yourself mm -hmm. as well so don't be that entrepreneur that works all the time and doesn't rest and keeps breaking down i am learning to rest as well mm -hmm. so sometimes after work i'm off work on mondays it's my day off 
because I've had to work and I'm tired okay. and I need to rest. Exactly. Do you understand? Exactly. Thank you so very much for You're that. You're welcome. I want you to ask um, the essence of planning and creating a business or starting up a business. Is it that important to plan ahead of a business or how would you start? Hmm. So it's important that you plan ahead. I want to start a business. I need to ask questions. Who are my clients? Mm. Not every client out there is your client. So if I don't know my target audience, I might miss, I might miss it. Exactly. So I'm planning a party and I set my target fee at um, 500000 mm. for my fee, mm. starting fee. Mm. Who are those that can afford it? If I don't plan ahead and I say, oh, my fees are 500000 I might not get the clients. Of course. And I'm just them like, oh, I'm in business, but I'm not getting the clients. Mm. So if I set out to plan ahead and I decide, oh, they might not be able to afford 500 what can people afford? Mm. So if I don't do the lowest of the lowest, um, yeah, I am yeah. doing the maybe ma mid-range. Mm -hmm. If I'm not doing mid-range, I am doing, you know, some people are just servicing luxurious clients. Exactly. If you're not paying me 2.5, I'm not doing your business. You're, you're, you, do you get? Mm -hmm. So know what you want to do. Plan ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Do your calculations. How much do you need to start the business? Mm -hmm. I want to start a Zobo business, a Zobo drink business. What are the things too. I need? You won't put Zobo inside sachet, nylon. inside nylon and tie <laughs> and take to the market and sell. Mm -hmm. Nobody will buy. So I have to buy bottles. We see people sell bot um, Zobo inside recycled bottles exactly. of Coke. Mm -hmm. Are those the people that you want to sell to? Or you want to have a brand new bottle sealed, mm -hmm. properly labeled? Mm -hmm. What are the ingredients that you're going to need? Mm -hmm. Oh, so you want to make Zobo and your first production is 100 bottles and you want to use your small pot to make it. <laughs> it won't work. So you need to sit down and do these things like what do I want to do? Mm -hmm. How do I achieve what I want to do? Who will help me to achieve what I want to do? Exactly. How much do I need? Mm -hmm. So I need about um, say 20,000 to start a business, my Zobo drink business. Mm -hmm. Let's use that example. And I have just 5,000. How do I get the other funds? Mm. Am I sourcing from family? Am I looking for someone to invest in my business? Mm. Even that has to be properly thought out. Mm -hmm. Because I can call someone to come and invest in my business and the person hijacks the business. Mm -hmm. So I need to sit down and plan ahead. Don't just jump into it. We're saying start. Yes, please, by all means, start. But That's sit fine. down mm. and plan ahead. You know? So, um... People don't take cold drinks when it's really cold. There'll be high times and there'll be low times, exactly. peak periods. What do you do at those periods? Mm -hmm. You know, so look at it. You're not going to be making like 500,000 every month. Though. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can. The hand of God is upon you. You can, <laughs> honestly. But then plan properly, exactly. realistically. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's lovely. Thank you for that You're welcome. Um, information. And, um, because of our time, we'll just wrap it up from here. But before we go, I want to know what you've been wanting to tell women in a while. What mm. advice have you been okay. wanting to tell women? Okay. For women, mm -hmm. don't be idle. Mm. Don't be idle. I have seen a lot of idle people, idle women, and it's not been a good one. Start out what you want to start out. Be mm. confident in yourself. Trust that you can achieve it. And please, please and please and please, don't be idle. Don't be found doing nothing. Because you know the way we say an idle and <laughs> is a devil. <laughs> you will find out that you are doing things that don't matter. Seriously. And Get something doing. Away. Once you start, you find out that you grow doing it. You get to love what you're doing. You're consistent. You're putting in the efforts. Everybody would even want to support you. I know that you have this particular business. And you tell me, if I can, I will want to support you. But you're not doing anything. And you want my support. Mm -hmm. What am I going to support? What am I supporting? Even God says, I will bless what you have in your hands. Exactly. So what do you have in your hands that you want God to bless? Mm -hmm. So find something mm -hmm. doing. 
Thank you so much for coming to the program this afternoon. We Thank really you for appreciate having me. your presence. And this Thank is you. where we call it a day on the program this afternoon. I appreciate everyone that watched the program. I appreciate the call. Maybe due to network or something, you're able to, you're unable to call in. So, but next time is still another time. And I want to say before I go that thank you for always watching IETV. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate you viewers out there. And I wish you Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in advance. Thank you very much. And before then, keep thriving always. Bye for now.